straight hitter. I think he's hitting, he's he's connecting with the middle of the cue ball quite a lot. Uh, his, his potting's very strong. That can get him over the line, even though he can panic. You know, and that's happened a lot of times in many matches in the first round here at the Crucible. OK, well, the distance between them is growing. Yes, it is growing, Hazel. It's three frames again. He's... Uh... He was 5-2 up earlier on in the match. 3-0, of course, at the start, so it's the third time now. Five May not seem a lot to those watching on, but three frames, you've got to win four, as John four. Pullman's used to say, John, to get in front. <laughs> yeah, John Pullman used to say, and it's pretty obvious, but uh, if you win the first frame, your opponent's got to win two on the trot to get in front of you. And... Uh, just feel at the moment that Mark Allen, not, not, not for any reason down to him, he's just going through the motions. He, he just can't seem to get at the table and, and start scoring, which we know he can. So he's going to have to grind it out, I think, early on in frames, you know, play some good safety and force a mistake from his, let's be fair, young and inexper inexperienced opponent. Yeah, he needs some inspiration, John, and, and you can't find it out there at the moment on the table. Last frame he had two good chances, but the, two good reds, but he couldn't get on a colour, and that's what happens sometimes. You've got to find a way of getting in them and doing a few breaks. So you mentioned earlier, he's very similar to Alex Higgins. He's the type of player Mark Allen. Once he gets in amongst them, he can run three or four frames off in, in no time at all. We saw the reaction there from... How are you paying when he missed this? Because he was playing as a shot for nothing, but of course he missed the red, it double kissed the cue ball. And he's not left anything that easy. But there is a possible pot that's red on the right hand side of the table, either to the right middle or the far right corner. Looks like far right corner, standing back for the black. No. And. Well, I assume that he's playing it in such a way that he's not left the, the red to the left of the black. There's a half chance, though. He'll be disappointed to have missed that. You can just see the mark on his cue there, and that's put there to uh, <coughs> give him a dis the same distance. Just take this from the bridge, from the bridge to the cue ball on every shot. If you're going too close, you've got to bring your backhand up then to keep the same distance between your grip that's on the cue and the bridge position. Meanwhile, he uh, did have a red to, to pot. And he's not having to do much to get in amongst the balls but he'd be disappointed with that he had quite a bit of a margin of error there and he, he's over hit it this red will go but it's awkward queuing four but made light of it It's a tricky black, a little thinner than he would have wanted. I think he played for the pink. That doesn't give him a, a clear path to the next red. And he took the more difficult black. And then, okay, he's covered the pocket with the easy red, but there may be one available into the centre. Not quite sure from here for the one at the top of the pack. You can see he played this very slowly. Guaranteed to be on the red and covering the pocket if he missed it. This seems the first clear cut chance that Mark Allen's had for quite a while. Three. 
problem you get out there when the other player is dominant in the table time is that when you get a chance, it seems that you, you, you're forcing yourself to think, well, I've got to make this chance, which you haven't really in normal play. But when you're starved of table time, it's so tough not to push the boat out a bit and try and get yourself moving. Yeah. Red. Sixteen. And he's just got the red immediately above the black that's available. What sort of an angle he's got on this black here? Seems to be too happy with the contact. Yeah, a little bit of a bounce. That's cue ball, that object ball. Imperative in putting this ready gets a good angle on the black to try and cannon into the, the cluster just below the pink. There is a red in the ball, Ken, but he needs these reds open if he's going to make this a frame winning contribution. Hmm. 24. I'm not quite certain what he was thinking of there. Look as though he could have held for the black. Well, it goes without saying, he needs a good angle on the ball yeah. colour now. Surely you play for a ball colour. Play for the red on the right hand side of the table. Maybe he can't get into the reds. We'll see. Well, he thinks he can, but he's overdone it. And it's unlucky to go in off, but My I've got to be honest with you, a couple of shots before when he went up to the bulk end, I was amazed he didn't try and hold for the black. But a little bit unlucky to, to go in off the black, but it was a big target. He'd be disappointed he didn't get the cannon. We'd be glad to see that white stop in by the green and he's apologised 